Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My favorite side dish loon. <laughs> That's right. Yo. The, the loon. You're not really a side dish. No, I'm on the main tray. course. That, you, that's, I'm the main course, baby. You're a buffet is what you are. <laughs> but today we are doing uh, something kind of Mexican. We are doing a side dish. It is so good. It's so flavorful. Yes. We're doing our cilantro, cilantro lime rice. rice. I put a little... Flair, flair, a little, a little. A little. cilantro. Yes. Well, I put a flair in everything. Well, that's an understatement. <laughs> so, if you there's a there's a really popular Mexican chain that does really good quality food here in the states, um, and they I don't know if they're the ones that sort of brand they didn't brand it, but they they are the ones who I've learned about this rice, and so I've like tried to do kind of a copycat of it. And I think it's really, really cl close. It's really delicious. Um, People are, you know, you're building this up. I know. Well, no, the what? it's called Chipotle. Oh, Chipotle is yeah. the name of the restaurant. They're, they're not like paying us to do this. Or right, anything. right. And but it's like a, you know, you run in, get a get a burrito, run out, and then yeah. cut this wonderful sauce. But it's really line. top notch, and it's really good. And, yeah. and this rice is their signature dish. So we're like, well, let's do it too. Yeah. Let's do the loon version. So this the loon is, version. All right. So okay. So now what I've got here is I'm going. We're just going to tell you. This is so easy. It comes together very, very quickly. So I'm starting off with my rice. So let me tell you, before I open this up and reveal it, we just finished cooking it on the stove. So mm -hmm. to get to this point, what we did, I love I love jasmine rice. I love basmati rice. I, there's just a kind of a nutty, fabulous taste to it um, that, that is really wonderful. And plus also the way it cooks is wonderful. But you can certainly use just good old plain long grain white rice as well. I wouldn't recommend instant for this. I mean, it would be Instant, but it wouldn't be quite as good. I like um, jasmine, right? I like jasmine too. Jasmine's yes, I know. A whole new world. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So what I did? So what? You, it's the, we want to get this to be. So Mexican rice is is nice is when it's really kind of almost dry and not too sticky. This there's just like a little bit of a stickiness to it. Yeah. And so we're going to show you technique to, to get so the good. perfect quality uh, rice. So we start off. I just get a cup of jasmine rice or basmati or long grain, and then I put it into a nice big bowl and I'm gonna cover it just with uh, some water, just enough to cover it. And then I'm just gonna use my fingers to stir that rice around um, until it, the water gets nice and cloudy. And what's that, what that is doing is it's just helping shake off some of that starch. And that's gonna produce a really delicious fluffy mm. rice. Okay, so I did that, and so then I'm gonna, I just use my hand to help get that water out of there. You wanna get most of the water out right. of there. You don't have to 100% drain it, because what we're gonna do is now we're gonna repeat that process. We're going to put more water in there. I'm going to do some more stirring with my yep. fingers. And then I'm going to drain that drain water. It. And then we're going to do it third time. One more charm. time. Yes. Third time just for good measure. But this time we're going to let the, you want the rice to sit in there from anywhere from, I'd say a minimum 10 minutes up to 30 minutes. Um, it just really, it's going to help really uh, facilitate. Get it all off. Get all yeah. that starch off there. And then what we do is then we just drain it. We, we I get a little sieve and I put it over that bowl and then just get all of that water off of there and then give it a good shaking. Mm -hmm. And um, you want to make sure that you haven't left any, if there are any like s strands of rice, you want to get it all. So you know, make sure you collect grains. that. Hmm? Grains of rice. Grins, the grains. I you said, said grins. strands of rice. Or strands, grains, whatever. <laughs> You're so technical. I know. Okay. So then, okay, so now we've got a nice size skillet of like this um, that I put over medium heat and I added a tablespoon of olive oil. You could also do butter if you wanted to. And, um, and then I just dumped that rice with some chopped onion, like a half a cup of chopped onion in there, and let that cook. And that's just going to really dry out any kind of moisture. And it's also going to cook down those onions. And I do that from anywhere from about three to five minutes. You gotta stir it because you don't want that rice to stuck burn to bottom, and get stuck sure. to, the, to the bottom. Okay, now to that, I am going to add a cup and a half of just good old water, two bay leaves, because that really gives a beautiful essence of flavor to that. And then, um, and that's all there is. And then you're gonna turn your heat down to as low as it will go. Make sure, this is really important, you need a tight covering lid like this. Yes. And then um, just let it slow simmer, let it steam for 18 minutes. And then you should end up with something that looks a lot like yeah. this. That's nice. There we go. That's beautiful. Okay, like I said, we just finished this, so it just, Oh, it looks so good. Then you just get a fork and you just oh, kind yeah, of just fluff, fluff it around. Fluff bit. it around. Okay, and uh, that is beautiful. Oh, that looks great. Doesn't that look great? That's so wonderful. Yes. Okay. So now, so now, I mean, this is ready to come together. So we're going to, if you want so to, easy. transfer right. that into there. Thank you. And uh, 
the flavor of this is so good and it's so festive. You can easily double this uh, recipe to when you're serving a crowd. Um, it easily reheats in the oven so you can make this ahead of time, put it into a, a dish, cover it, and then just gently heat it in the oven. Wonderful. You and could have made some more probably. Oh, I know, I know. Well, <laughs> that's a nice size bowl, but it makes us feel very fancy. Okay, so now what we're, okay, so let's say. You let, could have made some more. I could have, yeah, well, right. I know. So now what? So, okay, so now we've got our cooked rice. So yes. this is important to do while it's still hot. So yes. we've got the cilantro for our cilantro lime rice. So all of the cilantro? Yes. Okay. So depending on, some people obviously. I'm going to hold back a little bit. Well, that'll be a first. <laughs> so, well, he, because he's worried it's going to be too much cilantro. Yeah. Anywhere from a half a cup to three quarters And of I a have cup. that prerogative, and so do you. To right. cut back on the, <laughs> the I cilantro. I didn't know that it was a problem to begin with. But <laughs> anyway, not, I'm just some saying. people, if there are some people who have like a DNA dislike for in their body of, of cilantro. It's like it tastes like soap suds or something. That is so weird. It's true. I don't it's get true. It. There's another food that pe that are people like that. So mm -hmm. if you have that reaction to cilantro, I would say don't make this. <laughs> you might <laughs> want to uh, try our Mexican rice. Yeah, uh, try that. But, All right. So I also put some cut scallions in there. Some chopped, uh, chopped scallions. Scallion. There was just two scallions that I cut. You do the right, white and the green parts. Yes. Just find the, okay. And, and then, then you can go. Why are you being so skimpy oh, on this I'm stuff? Sorry. Okay. Okay. Now we've got uh, that is two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. Mm -hmm. Okay, another important part of cilantro yes. lime rice. Now is this? And that's a tablespoon. <laughs> We're gonna sniff smell everything. That's a tablespoon of extra virgin olive. Oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, up. that doesn't smell. Like yeah. Juice. Okay. And then okay. we're gonna do. Um, this can take a lot of uh, seasoning, a lot of salt, but I I do about three quarters of a teaspoon. Um, you know, you're gonna want to do a taste test after a little bit. See, I think you could have done more cilantro. Well, let's. I'm. Let me be the boss of that or the decision maker. Okay. On that. Well, oh, I just, I well, just pulled a U, and what? and flung food everywhere. Well, okay. <laughs> oh, that no, I think that's real. perfect. Okay, all right. Well, he what he put in there was probably about a third of a yeah, cup. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, just it's it really is to taste. Yes, exactly. Um, okay. Look at that. That is beautiful. Wonderful. All right, so let's make ourselves a little bowl, shall we? Let's do. <laughs> this is great when you start serving like a taco party, uh, tacos where everyone can feed themselves. I love it. All right, let me get this out of here. Fabulous. I'm going to serve myself. Well, that's... Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay! I love this rice. It's so bright and delicious. Yeah. It's um it's really good also with fish. Uh, with we're we're doing we're gonna be doing a, a grilled salmon. Ooh dish yes, that's, I love that. And I'm gonna put a little more extra lime yes. on mine. So now this is another another thing. I, I mean, like if, to just throw if, that in there. Yeah. If you I do like he said, do a squirt of lime over the top. Um, this is not overly lime um, citrusy. If it was, the, if you really like a lime, then go with three tablespoons, but we think two tablespoons is good. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Put a little more cilantro in there. Oh, well. Oh, you that think is... Oh. Super flavorful. Yeah, it is so good. Mmm. <laughs> It's the perfect size. Wow, it really is. I mean, that that would be perfect with tacos. Oh, no I'm just yeah. <laughs> you want oh, a little cilantro? Oh, there right. you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like just you know some enchiladas beside I it. Know. Oh, it's a it's a great. I just like eating it by itself. I know, and it's healthy. I mean, it's really good it's for you. It's so bright and just kind of like mmm. Like yeah. your taste buds go. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello, How are you? I know. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now this is 100% Luna approved. It is? It is. It yeah. is. I'm going to just keep sitting that... here and eat this. I'm starving. I don't, why are we always filming and I'm starving? Well, if you weren't starving, we would never <laughs> be filming because you're always starving. All, All right. right. Now you taste it. Okay. Okay. Mmm. I love it. Oh, my gosh. Isn't it good? It, it's just so... I don't know. It's refreshing. so vibrant. What do you say? It's like eating a garden. It's like eating a garden of deliciousness. It really is. I just <laughs> love the lime works so perfectly with the cilantro. It's perfect. It's, it's so good. It's simple and so delicious. I can't wait to have the salmon with this. I know. Mm. Now you can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. That's right. And be sure to go to our social media and like us and share us and Send us the love and yes, let all your friends please. know about us if, if you care to, because we love the love. And um, 
We love the love. Everybody loves the love. We love the love the love. <laughs> so we love you, and we hope you make this. And stay safe. Stay safe. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right. And to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>